Hello, this is Sean from Beyond the Visual Spectrum. I was going to share a story about 2010 when I was in the country of Belize, which is uh, between Guatemala, Mexico, and Honduras, a Caribbean country that has a uh, diversity of cultures, Maya Indians, Creole, uh, Garifuna, Chinese, uh, British, uh, Hindu, Indians, uh, German Mennonites, and um, this uh, country has a very thick rainforest uh, with lots of uh, animals and uh, jaguars and pumas are very prevalent in the southern part of the country in an area around the jaguar reserve which I uh, went to for a day trip with my dad and my uh, four-year-old daughter at the time. There's a lot of animals in Belize that are in the jungles of Central America that they don't have in North America. They have a uh, raccoon looking animal. It's called a coatl mundi and has an elongated snout. They have big constrictor snakes that can be 15, 16 feet long and one of the most poisonous snakes in the world called a fertilance which you really only have about 30 or 45 minutes to get to a hospital or you're done and um, also they have um, several cat animals there other than the jaguar and the puma uh, the ocelot and the jaguundi and those are smaller like bobcat size or smaller and then they have um, a small type of wild boar called a pakeri and it's only about 50 to 75 pounds or so as well as um, a large animal the size of a cow called a tapir it almost has like a uh, hippo type of foot and it's a very strange looking animal um, they have monkeys howler monkeys which are pretty much howl, howling and roaring and uh, throughout different parts of the jungles and uh, I heard a lot on this trip and they also have spider monkeys but the howler monkeys kind of have an unnerving sound they're very uh, they, they, they intense they have a roar they have a, uh, a throaty grinding uh, raspy sound and it's, it's kind of scary to be out in the jungle and hear it but anyway so the story goes we're uh, going down these uh, jungle roads for miles and miles after we've already traveled several hours down the uh, a highway but once we get into the uh, preserve they uh, they have about a dozen miles to go on dirt road and these are rugged rough dirt roads with mud and potholes and cliffs and uh, lots of rocks I mean it's it's very rugged you need uh, 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 off uh, I mean all-terrain vehicle just to, to get on them so and we had that but anyway we get to the parking lot the little gravel parking lot and there's a little wooden ranger station there and um, the rangers getting ready to leave for home or get off work or whatever and he's like uh, there was a jaguar spotted uh, a few days ago in this area be careful come back before um, uh, dusk and uh, don't be out there after that so it was a little unnerving to hear him say that and so we went on we were, we were hiking Luckily, I had a machete. It was the only weapon we had out there. We took our snacks and water and everything, and we're walking down these uh, long trails going up and down and winding back and forth through the jungle foliage. And uh, these trails were kind of uh, slightly muddy, so we had to be careful and watch out for snakes and also keep our eyes open for any large cats out there. And these things are nocturnal. But sometimes they, you know, are seen in the daytime and they hunt. So 
uh, you always got to be on alert because they'll uh, be waiting behind uh, jungle vegetation and you won't even see them. So we walked to our destination point, which was about three hours uh, going and coming to uh, a waterfall. So we get there and the whole time the howler monkeys are, are carrying on and it's kind of unnerving and getting us worried that there's you know something that's bothering them they sounded very um, frightened uh, like maybe there was something they were concerned about so it made us concerned as well so uh, we didn't stay too long at the uh, the waterfall you know after we swam for you know, 15 minutes we got out and we were heading back and you know we were watching in the forest because it was very uh, you know, those noise out in the forest, you could hear the birds and the uh, howler monkeys and you could hear the sticks breaking in the background and twigs, uh, you know, little creatures and stuff running around. As we get back on the main trail where there was a lot of mud and, and dirt and you could see where we had walked before on the way to the waterfall, what was really terrifying and bone chilling was that we were seeing these tracks that were going in an S pattern back and forth, weaving left and right down the trail that were following us. And these were big paw prints of, um, of a jaguar or a puma. The ranger said it was a jaguar in the area a few days ago. So most likely it was, but these paw prints were huge. They were like five inches in diameter across. I mean, we're talking a, a, a you know over 200 pound cat, maybe 300 or, or, or at least 200, 225 pounds. I don't know, but it was big. And uh, we were watching every step we took because it could still have been in the area so we were ca cautiously exiting the jungle and this was very very disturbing because i had a, a small child with me and we were uh you know backtracking our, our our way out and we saw these prints all the way to about a hundred feet of the entrance of the uh, the nature trail and that's what was really scary because this thing had been following us close to the parking lot. So I just wanted to share this story with you guys and like and subscribe. This is uh, Sean with uh, Beyond the Visual Spectrum. Hope you enjoyed that. All right. Thank you.